In the age-old battle of East versus West, who does it better? Home design is the name of the game, and in this new series, we get to bounce back and forth between designers on opposite coasts as they reveal their best work. On this episode of Design Smackdown, it's East home design versus West Coast styling. Let's see how the designers match up. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Felicia, and today we're gonna take a tour of designer Robert Pasal's luxurious Park Avenue apartment. We're gonna show you how East Coast does uptown pizzazz. Hi, I'm Shar Zakiade, and I'm in beautiful Encinitas, California with designer Betsy Jin. After seeing this house, Tom, you better be terrified because we have a serious design smackdown coming your way. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. I'm with Mega Babe designer, and this is actually her home. This is Betsy Jin. Your style is so unique and sick. I need you to tell me what's going on in here. I, you know, I love vintage glamour. I've always been obsessed with it for a really long time. But I also have kids, so what I've tried to do is inject glamour, but also keep things very casual and laid back. And I love a touch of the unexpected. Yeah, I walked in and I noticed like there's so many incredible pieces in here. Like, how do you oh, get inspired you. to find these? You know, I'm a bit of a hunter. Okay. I love flea marketing. Okay. So, for instance, the first thing that we found in this room was the vintage green tufted couch, and then everything kind of had to be paired with that. And I mean, it's it's just so unique and so open and bright. And I feel like you can get away with kind of like the dark walls because there is so much natural light and then so much greenery. And you have that greenery year round because yeah. it's California yeah. because, hey Tom, we win again. We have greenery and ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everybody, we are here with Robert in the living room of this really kind of, I have to say, it's it's over the top in the sense that it's super fabulous, but at the same time, it still has like a cool, crisp, clean, tailored sensibility. How did you do that? I think we brought a little bit of downtown, uptown. First of all, the sofa is amazing. A Siri mom sofa that you found at an auction, correct? Correct. And the detailing is just incredible. And, right, I, and right. I love the mix of old and new. And I think that it actually plays really nicely to the modern artwork. I love that there's no frame on the beautiful piece over the sofa. I'm loving that the sconces left and right of that piece are the yeah. combination chandelier, light fixture, hanging fixture. I think yeah. a lot of the room um, and a lot of the, the space in general, it's just a real updated Park Avenue approach. And we don't have as much indoor outdoor as California, but that could be why our indoor spaces are, don't you think that they're much much nicer on yeah. the East Coast than the West much, Coast? Much more killer than the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just continually blown away by all the unique pieces. So I need to hear about some of your favorite things in this room, because there's so many cool pieces. And I think with California's beautiful sunshine, yes. that you can still go a little bit heavier on the design side and do mm. some of those freaky pieces. This is actually a beautiful old planter. And then I, my, my countertops are amazing because they're all cement. You have some pieces that you've um, like basically recycled in here. Yes. And recycling. Yeah is something yes. that Californians California. are known for. Yeah. So excellent job <laughs> being environmentally friendly Thanks. and glamorous and chic. And tell me about these unique pieces. You know, I found these bar stools at a flea market and I freaked out over them, but the top wasn't quite right. So what I wanted to do was put something a little bit tougher on mm -hmm. top. Um, just to kind of make it feel more casual, and I went with a, a plaid leather. And there's just so much natural bright light. I yeah. love the greenery all around. I love Thank that it's you. winter. We're in Southern California, yeah. and you know it's still so bright and fresh. I love it. I can't wait to Thank see you. just everything. Let's it's do so it. cool. Let's do it. Because you're a cool girl. All right. And you're in California. Yeah, come on. Okay, so we are in a kitchen, which is not just a kitchen, not just sort of a dining room or breakfast area but it's also the family room, which is pretty unusual. How did this come about? So originally it was two spaces. It was a kitchen and a dining room. And the client actually knew that they would never use a formal dining room. So we created a single space. It really is like, this is pretty special in the city. It's a real home. I, yeah. I, you know, I see it as a, a real nice home. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real yeah, nice I'll, home. I'll take it. And it's way nicer than anything on the West Coast, <laughs> I would imagine, right now that you might be comparing this to. I have to say, I do love, this is, this is a pretty spectacular New York City kitchen. I love it, but the, my favorite part is, 
the bar area <laughs> over in the, the wine cooler. In the wine cooler. Let's go check that out. I'm kind of loving that detail. Let's go get a glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Another incredible, unique space. Thank you. So cool. So what do you, what do you guys use this room for? This is our indoor outdoor space. We wanted to create a space that was glamorous but tough, mm -hmm. you know, so the kids could tear it up in here and, and have a good time and, and still have everything look really good. Um, and then it, you're opened up, your view is your backyard, yeah. which is so unique and yeah. beautiful. And today is another one of those perfect California days, like all of them. Yeah. And we, yeah. we just wanted to create that feel. We wanted to be indoors and outdoors, and we wanted to take advantage of the of the weather yeah. and make it fun. Yeah, there's, there's zero way that Tom's ever gonna beat this, <laughs> except defeat now, Tom. We 100% won in everything, pretty much. Girl, I think it's time we go take a nap on that bed. Let's do it. Put our feet up, yeah. sun's out, bun's out. Sounds good. You coming with me? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are in probably one of the coolest most interesting over-the-top guest bedrooms that I've ever been in. I love this. I'm in love with this room. I think it's so great. I said, if I had to live here and sleep here day to day, <laughs> I'd go nuts. But as, on a, as a guest, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun fantasy. little fantasy. It's, it's a, a fun little escape. Also, what we did was we took a lot, we took some classic elements that you know are in the rest of the apartment sort of like the, the shape of the, the sofa, shop, yeah the sofa and the, and the ottoman and just like and brought them into the space in the chinoiserie bedside table right um so that it really feels incorporated but yet feels really individual but you had fun with it right yeah you really, it was really fun you had a lot of fun with we this did. space you made it really pop you made it sort of an experience we did yeah it's cool love 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 <laughs> and you can't find this on the west coast <laughs> top this <laughs> You guys, we've seen the East Coast style, we've seen the West Coast style. You know what I think is best. Be sure to stick around and watch all the awesome episodes of Design Smackdown. We'll see, we'll see what comes out. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Are we doing? The, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Tom! <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was really, really good. All right, so. Get so relaxed. Let's, uh, so, uh, okay, so energy. Uh oh. I think. Well, that's the toilet. I can, <laughs> turn, I can turn that off. Let me, let me turn, let me turn the valve like... off. <laughs> it's the ghost toilet. Somebody pooped. Yeah. Awesome. So, where were we when that toilet exploded? Uh, <laughs> we were talking about. <laughs>